Hi, this is Michael from Southern Fire Guitars out here in the yard by the fire, well, mostly by the smoke. And I got on my Johnny Cash Man in Black shirt today. Why? Because I have three new guitars and they're all black. Hey, look, we got a fire now, and I have the logs around the fire in a circle or a ring, another Johnny Cash reference to a ring of fire. Well, come with me. I'm going to show you these three brand new black guitars and tell you a little bit about them. These guitars came out beautiful. This first one here on this Rocky Patel the Edge Battalion box. It's on a 23 inch scale, has an oak neck, slanted headstock. Walnut fretboard with maple inlays and closed gear black tuners. It does have bob wire brands on the end of all my headstocks. That's my signature. This one does have a humbucker pickup. It's on a 23 inch scale. Shotgun shell volume knob. It's tuned to an open G. Has a jack plate, stripe plate for the tailpiece, and two strap buttons. One there, and one there. And the neck is stained ebony, which gives it a beautiful look. If I turn it around this way, it does have white plastic side dot markers and this next one is a license plate guitar with the red white and blue American flag on it now this one here is a 25 inch scale length with an oak neck also a multi wood fretboard with oak and walnut Also strap button here and also in the back. Now this one does have a piezo pickup on the inside also tuned to an open G. And let me flip the license plate guitar around. This one does have three sound holes right there and a shotgun shell volume knob. And this last one is a Padrone box that I distressed black with a top of the box humbucker right here. And this one also has the black stained neck, walnut fretboard, also the shotgun shell volume knob, strike plate for the tailpiece strap button or I should say strap buttons because there's one here as well turn this one around this one also tuned to an open G so these are my three black guitars that I recently finished after coming back from vacation in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Went up there for a few days. Beautiful country, beautiful mountain country. And I'm going to hook these up to an amp and we're going to see or we're going to hear how these things sound. I already know how they sound. They sound great, but I'm going to let you hear how they sound. All right, let's do it. I don't smoke them. I just like to play with the box. If you want any information on a cigar box guitar, you can leave a message here through my Facebook page or email me, link in the description. It's such a nice day out here, I thought I'd bring my little amp out here by the little fire pit and do some playing on those three black guitars. I'm going to be going through this Vox, <coughs> Vox MIDI 5 rhythm amp right here. There are the settings. And I'm also going to be using this cordless guitar receiver and transmitter right here. And this is battery powered, so I do have uh, 
batteries in that so I could play it out here without a cord. And let's see what this Padron box sounds like with that top of the box humbucker. Let's try this American flag license plate guitar with the piezo pickup under the bridge.
Okay, here is the Rocky Patel Battalion Box with the humbucker pickup. I think I'm going to have to record this one fast because I think the batteries are going dead on the amp. <laughs> If you want any information on that Vox Mini 5 rhythm amp or that cordless guitar system, I will leave a link down in the description. If you like cigar box guitar videos, you know, playing them, building them, building them, and playing them, what are you waiting for? Please click the subscribe button now. And don't forget to hit that bell so you're notified when I post a new one. My name is Michael, and I'll see you in the next one. Music